green, black, uh, lemon and white. That is his opponent, Eric Adelson. He's from Danville, California. And uh, that's up north of Dublin, California, where the professionals bowled a week ago, Bo. And they had high score in that championship round last week, and we expect more today. Eric with the first shot. And the 245 left standing here on the left lane of this championship pair at Skyway Park Bowl. It's a beautiful day here in Seattle as it was uh, yesterday afternoon, and this is a city to behold. The 245, Eric has to guard against chopping the 24 off the 5, so he'll go straight and hard at the spare, hopefully to convert in the first frame. Nicely done. Mark Thayer of Lafayette, Indiana, on the banks of the Wabash River. Right-hander has yet to win. He's had three second-place finishes in his last five telecasts. So, like his doubles partner, our tournament le leader, Dave D'Entremont, they both uh, would like to get away from second place and win. Well, four of the players have not won that are on the championship round today. It'd be nice to see one of them break through. Mark Thayer, he's 34 years old with a new crew haircut. He said he got that haircut about a month ago, so Chris, I can imagine it's what my uh, little boy Brett calls a one-inch or a quarter-inch buzz. He's out to about a half-inch right now, and uh, a little growth would not hurt. They may have been shearing the sheep back in Lafayette. He got caught. <laughs> but better still, his wife Kathy supposedly gave him the haircut, and as pretty as she is, you would stand still, wouldn't you? <laughs> Eric has never before bowled on a TV round, even in regional tournaments. Most of the players have bowled some TV experience. Never before for Eric. Sliding by, leaving the two pin. Sort of like disbelief. Well, you see his style, a five-step delivery. He is really in good position. So watch how he kind of cups that wrist on the backswing. Really nice shape here. Good pivot step. Look at everything going straight forward. Driving through just doesn't quite get the lift on the ball. I'm kind of sliding out, left the easy spare of the two. As his wife Karen looks on, they've been married about five years. She, along with you, is watching his first ever championship round appearance. Harry got his feet wet last night in the very final game, the 42nd game of this five day tournament. He had to bowl experienced player Parker Bowen the third on this same pair 33 and 34 and beat Bowen 259 to 254. Ron and Dave Pardee, a co-proprietors here have hosted uh, the professional bowlers since 1987 using the full approach Mark Thayer. that double it's an 11 pin lead by the Hoosier now watch Mark Thayer he has just a tremendously powerful ball look how far to the left he is but look at the position he's in watch that swing and here's his angle he's going to come on through as he drives through this shot everything in perfect position in between the third and fourth arrows out to that break point we talked about and pops the 10 he has an 11 pin lead slid and stuck didn't slide, but stuck at the line, Bo. You bet, Chris, and they looked down immediately at the approach. It really wasn't anything that uh, we could see from here, but when you get your shoulders too far forward, over your knees, watch his shoulders, way over his knees, you don't get the leverage, the ball will not hook back. He's really fortunate he didn't miss the head pin. He leaves a tough spare, the 2-8, double wood. Oh, the sleeper goes. Here in Seattle, a city with many areas, residential and business. You have a chance to see a monorail breezing into Westlake Center. That's in downtown Seattle. Mm -hmm. 
very first game in the PBA Seattle Open. This is Eric Adelson of Danville, California, going against Indiana's Mark Thayer. Could have taken a one-pin lead with a strike there, but here's the 210. Slides by, doesn't catch it all, and he looks a little bit mystified by what happened. You see the ball coming out. It looks like a pretty good shot, and I'll tell you what happened to Eric right here is he's just not playing the lane exactly correct. Sometimes you're real loose in practice. Now, under pressure, he has a tendency to throw harder. He threw it too hard. He has a tough split. Eric, with one regional title, has an open frame. Eric gives us some personal history and shares his hopes for the future. Well, um, I bowled a lot of junior tournaments in the Northern California area. They have a real good junior scratch program. Then I bowled at UC Berkeley, and I bowled with Ricky Corona and Ted Galacki, who are also out here touring, and against people like Mark McDowell, and that really helped me learn a lot about bowling. And then I went on to the regionals and had some success, and next up would be trying out here on the tour and hope I can do well today. And for... The pro it was a big strike. Now with the spare up shooting in the fifth frame, Mark Thayer. Ball didn't come up, leading the two. Same championship pair we used in 1991. The players averaged more than 225 as you see the ball coming towards the pit area. Ball sliding just by. Leaving the two pin, a somewhat under the weather Mark Thayer. Now I asked him when I first saw him today how he felt. He said, terrible. Head cold, chest cold. Can't take medication until after he performs today. Thayer critiques his performance over the past two to three years, and he has a prediction for today. Well, I've been bowling fair on TV, but not good enough. And my last showing at the U.S. Open, I proved to myself that I can bowl good on the